what God has him in store. He's an Olympian. Good safe MGM Grand Bubble. And he and didn't waste any time. Oh! Right there. What a huge right hand from Felix for Dejo. Power he showed us. Let's see if he jumps Watch on him. Watch oh. Sweeping shots. For Dejo on the attack, standing right in the pocket. Nakatani swinging with him. Canvas. And gets back to it. He comes huge right hand. We will show it to you. Right hand from Verdeo. Look at the jab. He got him looking at the jab. And then boom. Right on the chin. And down goes Nakatani. That's one of Verdejo's favorite shots is the one-two. Quick step in. Nakatani's career. He has ever been knocked down. Out. Other top. Get reckless. Especially when you have a. Top rank boxing here on ESPN. Oh. Right hand. Double left hand. Let's take a peek back. Towards That's him. how you break this guy down. And then he's countering over the top of right. Get to the top and stay there. Oh! There it is. There it is. This is what happened in the fourth round against Verdejo. It's another pool count. The late from the front foot to the back foot. There it is. Boom! Loads up with a right hand. Jersey started boxing at 15 years old because. Mm. Look, and he missed badly. A champion. Of course, the number one heavyweight. And during 2020 became <laughs> but that may not work from Verdejo and there's a one-two from Nakatani and if he can stay composed how about this from Nakatani floor twice had never been down Verdejo in complete control Nakatani still stalking he did damage with that one end of seven three more to go This is why as a fighter, no matter how right up the middle with the uppercut, we won't see it coming. He's hurt again. He is hurt again. Dre, you just oh, hold it. Hurt. And then he turns the tables right back on Nakatani. But the, if there is a fight, it almost certainly would be us by a right hand that he got hit with about Oh, and there's some. Oh, and he's hurt. He sends him back. Nakatani is damaged for Dejo, and he doesn't look good at all. Could it be a comeback win for Nakatani? He floors him. He did it. Masayoshi Nakatani up off the canvas twice to end it like that. What a fight. See, Nakatani just, that was a jab. Wow. That's a jab that landed right on the chin, right on top of the head. But but it was right on the oar. It was really the jab that did it again. It was the jab, but he was already initially hurt from the jab. You were tuned in to G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the share button as you come on in. The former 135-pound king, Vasil Lomachenko, is supposed to be making his return this summer. And uh, according to Bob Arum, there's been talks of... Vasil Lomachenko possibly coming back against Masayoshi Nakatani. Now, before I get into that fight and, and whether that's a good fight, things like that, there's a lot of people that feel like Vasil Lomachenko deserves a rematch with Tiafimo Lopez like right out the gate. Let me let me get into that first. I don't believe Vasil Lomachenko should get an immediate shot at Teofimo Lopez. I'm going to tell you why. Number one, when you are the guy going into the ring with multiple belts and you're fighting a unification fight, um, you put you put a rematch clause in the contract. Like, you put a rematch clause in the contract. Um, the fact that he... Didn't put a rematch clause in the contract. Kind of shows a little bit of arrogance from Vasil Lomachenko's part. Now, another reason why I think he shouldn't get an immediate Tiafimo Lopez fight is because Vasil Lomachenko's coming off an injury. He had surgery right after that fight. He didn't say um, that was the reason why he lost. But, you know, you got to make sure everything's working correctly and you don't get re-injured and things like that so that's another reason um the third reason is Vasil Lomachenko wasn't competitive to me in the fight against Tiafimo Lopez it wasn't one of those fights that commands a rematch and if you don't have a rematch clause 
then your performance should be the reason why a rematch is demanded. Like, Vasil Lomachenko didn't put on a good performance in that fight. Like, period. Um, I, I had somebody tell me that I was crazy for thinking Tiafimo Lopez won the fight. Like, Lomachenko made Tiafimo miss 90% of his shots. And I'm like, Lomachenko wasn't even trying to score offensively. Like, he wasn't even trying the first seven rounds. Like, he was literally asleep at the wheel the first seven rounds. Like, he gave up the first seven rounds of the fight. He didn't start fighting until round eight. So, Tiafimo Lopez clearly won that fight, eight, four, nine, three. So, but there are some people that feel like it should have been a draw or Lomachenko should have won seven five. And I'm like, y'all, y'all need to, y'all need to learn how to score a fight. <laughs> like even Lomachenko came out and said it, it was six, six. So he didn't even say he won the fight. And then all you got to do is watch, uh, watch Lomachenko and his team after the fight was over. Um, before the scorecards were announced, they looked sad. They looked depressed. Like they didn't look like, um, they didn't look like they believed they won the fight. So if they look like they didn't believe they won the fight, you shouldn't have believed that they won the fight. Like they knew they lost the fight. So you should reevaluate how you score rounds. But getting off of that, those those are the reasons why I feel like Vasil Lomachenko does not deserve a Tiafimo Lopez shot immediately. With that being said. You've seen the highlights in the beginning of this video. Uh, Masayoshi Nakatani and Felix Verdejo. That was a fight of the year type fight um, back and forth. And um, Felix Verdejo was on a nice little streak. It was on a nice little streak. And Nakatani survived two knockdowns and came back and knocked out Felix Verdejo in a, in a classic, classic rumble. Now... Tiafimo Lopez fought Nakatani and Tiafimo Lopez didn't look as good as he usually looked against Nakatani, but you see why. Nakatani's a good fighter. So Tiafimo Lopez resume looks that much better with uh Nakatani uh name on it, especially after the Felix Verdejo win. Um this is a good fight for Vasil Lomachenko to come back to. This is a really good fight. Um, I'm going to tell you why. Number one is is action. It's, it's an action fight. Uh, Nakatani, he, he's not afraid to throw the hands. Like, he he throws a lot of shots. Um, so, Lomachenko's not going to be able to just play defense, defense, defense all night and expect to win this fight. Like, he's going to have to let some hands go. Secondly, Nakatani has a lot of... Um, defensive flaws that you can exploit and Felix Verdejo did a great job at exposing those flaws so Vasil Lomachenko will have a great opportunity to get his offense off and he will have a great opportunity to look impressive offensively in this fight so this fight checks all the boxes number one um there's the Tiafimo Lopez connection there because Tiafimo Lopez already for him so of course Vasil Lomachenko will want to take care of Nakatani in a more impressive fashion number two he beats Nakatani that probably leads him right back to a title shot whether Tiafimo Lopez is still at 135 or not it'll lead him right back to a title shot and then it'll get Lomachenko's name hot in these streets again because right now Lomachenko's name is ice cold his name is ice cold right now in these streets um, from the TFMO laws to the excuses that he made afterwards. And you could tell even after the loss, he, he doesn't have much respect for TFMO Lopez and his team. And it's, it's Lomachenko. It's Lomachenko. You see how, you see how TFMO Lopez has a great relationship with Richard Comey. Like there's mutual respect there. Tiafimo Lopez came to Richard Comey's fight this past Saturday against Jackson Marinas. You see the love. You see the respect. Don't get it twisted. Tiafimo Lopez was there to do some, some press and some media and things like that, which is what you're supposed to do. Um, but he showed a lot of love to Richard Comey. Richard Comey showed a lot of love to Tiafimo Lopez. And, and that's how it's supposed to be. But Lomachenko 
and his his team was very dismissive of Tiafimo before the fight, very dismissive of Tiafimo after the fight. So, um, you know, hopefully that that loss by Lomachenko has humbled, um, humbled him a little bit, and he comes back uh, stronger than ever. And I'm not even talking about from a physical standpoint. I'm talking about from a from a mental and emotional standpoint, um, because Lomachenko's done a lot in this game. Um, outside of his debut, he's been in some type of a title fight every single fight of his career, uh, which almost nobody can say. You know, so I have a high level of respect for Lomachenko, and a lot of people, a lot of people feel like, you know, he was top five prior to the Tiafimo loss. A lot of people feel like he was top five. So, you know, Lomachenko is still a great fighter. I just want to see him come back and and get back on his A game because the person that showed up against Tiafimo Lopez. I know that wasn't the real Loma. Now, the question is, was it Loma or was Tiafimo the reason why he didn't show up and look the way he usually looked? But Vasil Lomachenko and Nakatani return fight this summer, that's a great fight. That's a great comeback fight for Vasil Lomachenko, and that's a great opportunity for Nakatani as well. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Please share this video, support your boy, support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.